Welcome to the blog today. It's not a blog, Erica. It's a vlog. <laughs> Getting ready to have my first cup of coffee. This was my water this morning, and then after I'm done with coffee, I'll start in on my first zip fizz in this cup. Straight cruising, headed for a bruising. Watching out for number one You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today and not tomorrow Where you're going You can rest your head Where you're going of laundry to fold y'all three massive mounds of laundry to fold so I'm gonna watch my girl Jen Chapin and I'm gonna get to folding Jason just oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> you hear the record button and you just go oh, oh my gosh, gosh. y'all Jason just got home from picking up some stuff at the P.O. box and I got the sweetest letter from someone named Beth it just meant so much to me and then Rachel sent me this from an Etsy shop. Sunflowers are my favorite. They're my absolute favorite and it is so, so cute. I cannot wait to wear this while I cook. Thank you so much. Crazy girl. And then this, we got this from the P.O. Box as well. A company sent this to us and wanted us to do a review of it. And I don't use an alarm clock like this or really ever. I mean, I guess I use my alarm clock on my phone every once in a while, but Caroline was just looking for a new alarm clock and she was super interested in this. So Caroline's gonna try this out for a week or two and then we will do a review and I'll come back and tell y'all what we think of it, but it's called the Wake Up Light Alarm Clock. I think it's supposed to like wake you up gently over time. I've heard a lot of things about these types of alarm clocks, so I'm kind of excited to see how it works. And I'm super excited with my apron. It's so special. I don't know if you know, like realize that sunflowers are my favorite because I said it every once in a while or not, but it means so much to me. And then a letter that was like so, so sweet today. I was having a rough day, y'all, and this just made my day. Thank y'all so much. You want to say thank you too? Say thank you for bringing in all the new packages with the new smells. Or are you gonna just burp in my face? That was lovely. That was not ladylike. Hazel, that was not ladylike to burp in mommy's face. No, it was not. We also just got this in the mail and it came to our house, not our P.O. box. And I don't have any emails from this company saying they were sending it to me. I don't think I ordered it, although I've heard amazing things about this company. It's not like something I would not order, but I know I would not have ordered this much and not remember it. So I feel like this company sent this to us um, just to be friendly and hope that we would check it out and see what we think. So there's a bunch of cookies and there's keto pancake mix, keto brownies, a bunch of different types of cookie bites like chocolate chip and snickerdoodle. So the nut butters are in these tiny little pouches and then the cookies are in pouches like this. My first impression is that the cookies are gluten-free, no added sugar, and gluten-free. I am super, super excited about the fact that they are gluten-free. There's so many, um, there's so many things out there that are in the keto world, but that aren't really 
high quality ingredients and don't agree with me necessarily. This has collagen in it. It's grain free. It's paleo friendly. Zero added sugars in this one and three net carbs and three fiber. There's usually two servings. Yeah, two servings per container, but you know, who's kidding? Once you open these, most of us are probably going to eat an entire container, right? So you could still eat an entire container for six net carbs. And then this super fat butters look at that there's like a coffee and mct oil macadamia coconut macadamia mct plus probiotics cocoa cacao coconut all kinds of stuff y'all i'm excited for this it's about 12 o'clock and i finished my coffee a little while ago and i was wanting something just plain and small and nothing was sounding good and i saw these so i decided i would have one serving of these peanut butter chocolate chip cookies kind of as a late breakfast. Today we are wrapping up our January squeaky clean keto challenge. I will talk with y'all later. We'll just kind of have a sit and chat about how it went and what things I, what I, how it went and what I learned and all of that. This morning I got up, had my coffee with nut pods. I actually only drank a few sips of it. Then I made another one and then I ended up only drinking a few sips of it. I was just all over the place this morning and now Jason and I are getting ready to go run some errands. We got to start stocking up for February here soon. So we have to buy some stuff for his time to drink channel or our time to drink channel because we're doing a live tonight. And I want to go to TJ Maxx and see if I can find some Valentine's Day towels. If you're an OG around here, you know I always change out the towels with the seasons in my kitchen. So Jay and I have got Jay. We are going to run to Aldi. We need to do some stock up for February and we will share everything in our grocery haul next weekend. But I'll probably show y'all a little glimpse of it too. And if it's not crazy, I'll take y'all in shopping with me. Maybe we'll find some new finds. I don't know. I haven't actually done a whole lot of extensive Aldi shopping in a little while. So maybe there'll be some new stuff. Let's go see. Oh, and I know what else I was saying. I also... I also was saying that I wanted to go to TJ Maxx because if you're an OG with me, you know I always change out the towels in the kitchen seasonally because they're like always behind me when I'm talking and I don't have any Valentine's towels. I buy new ones each season because I mean they get yucky so I like them to be like nice and crisp. So each season I buy a new set of towels. That's just one of like my business expenses I guess we could call it. It's overhead. And it's overhead okay anyway so crossing our fingers that TJ Maxx has some good Valentine's Day stuff I also kind of wanted to do my little two-tiered tray for Valentine's Day but I only have $25 what about spring, what about spring? Do it like a spring yeah one. I could do like a spring one I have $25 in fetch rewards that I can spend at TJ Maxx and that doesn't get all that far so we'll see what we do we'll see what happens but I'm gonna take y'all with us, so do some shopping today. Y'all, we just did a Walmart haul too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see what we can get at TJ Maxx. I just downloaded my $25 Fetch gift card, so let's see. Crossing my fingers, they have some really cute towels. Look at this. When I'm with you, I love myself. Y'all, 
They've got some super cute clothes. Like, look at this jumper. And then this dress, this just like little black dress, $14.99. I want to get it, but I never go anywhere to wear anything. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. I love it. Hazel, did daddy bring you a present? Are you so excited? <gasps> look, look, it's your own couch. Thought you could sleep on that at night. What do you think? And it has little pillows on the side for you to rest your head like you do on the couch. <laughs> You just gotta put it in that spot. Okay, next haul. This is the Aldi haul for the 1st of February. Remember, we're stocking up, so this whole table is the Aldi haul. Okay, here is what I ended up with from TJ Maxx, y'all. Some of it was stuff for work, so I'll show you that stuff first. My phone ring light, this is what I use when I do client coaching calls usually, and I like to have this light and the phone holder. Mine died. I've had it for like three years. This is what we originally used when we first started filming our channel was one like this and it just died. So had to get another one. I do use that every once in a while. I also needed a new cord for beside my desk and this is for beside my desk too. So all kind of boring work stuff. I am completely out of tissue paper, like completely. And this tissue paper was $2.99. So that was great. However, the Valentine stuff was lacking. They did not have a whole lot. And I actually do really like this. I think it's adorable. And I think maybe I can leave it out past Valentine's Day because of the bunny, maybe. I don't know. But this is what we actually went in for. And I was going to get some Valentine stuff for my little two-tier tray. But they have moved on. They had very little Valentines. They've moved on to St. Patrick's Day and Easter, mainly. So... Also got some coffee. This was, Jason is short on his coffee right now and this is his absolute favorite. So we got some coffee. This was $19.99 for $48. And I have decided that I really liked having a wreath above my stove top over there. I, I had one for Christmas and I really liked it. So I think this will be nice and neutral. I'm going to put this up. But I also could take the bow off and put different bows on it. So I feel like this could be really functional. So this was $24.99. So my entire gift card went with this one product, $24.99. But I've been looking for something like this. And I think this is going to be perfect. And then this, like I said, I really did want this. I don't even know how much this was, y'all. $6.99. So not bad, not bad. That's also a work cost. So, so far this and this were just for me this was also a work thing jason needs for a time to drink and then some clothes for andrew we weren't all we weren't going in looking for clothes but we always look just in case because andrew has grown so incredibly much that he needs a complete wardrobe so we're slowly trying to get him built up this is just a really nice lucky t-shirt i think he'll like it he's been into the champion brand i don't think these kids realize that this that used to be what we wore when we were dirt poor <laughs> now that's like the thing apparently which cracks me up because I would not have been caught dead in champion wear at his age because that would mean that I couldn't afford nice things and I know that sounds horrible but that was the truth right when you're when you're in ninth grade you want to look cool right and when I was in ninth grade champion yeah no I don't know do y'all remember that do y'all remember it that way anyways Got him a couple shirts and some shorts. Who knows if they'll fit? Who knows if he'll like them? But it's worth a shot. So that is what we got at the TJ Maxx today, y'all. Oh, and also Hazel got a bed. Let's show them your bed, Hazel. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is your new bed? Is this it? Is this your new bed? What do you think? You just want to give them kisses, huh? You want good mommy kisses? What do you think of your new bed? What do you think? It's so soft. It's memory foam. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to show it to y'all, but she is thinks that I want to kiss. So anyways, no, we don't bite it. You don't ever bite your bed. What are you? She just wants to play. She wants me to play with her. Okay. 
what I the reason I got this bed for her was because she loves 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 laying on the couch and putting her head on pillows and I thought that how it had pillow all the way around it right now she's just super curious and smelling it and hasn't tried to lay down on it yet but I think she's gonna really like this I really do and yeah she's ready for mommy to get off the camera huh are you ready to play you want to play you give kisses to the camera yeah here are the Valentine's Day towels. I think they look really cute. We've got our little bunny, honey bunny, and then just some little hearts. And I think that I have decided that I do really like this wreath here, so it shall stay. I was gonna get footage of Jay grilling, but he's done. So here are the pork chops. They look super good. This is gonna be dinner Hello. tonight. Hello. You smell the pork? Do you smell the pork? All right, y'all, for part of our live tonight, we're doing these really cool Bloody Marys, and hint, hint, there's gonna be some chaffle, in, chaffle involved. So I'm working on different chaffle ideas. Um, I will link down below my chaffle videos if you are interested in making chaffles. This one that I'm making here is not in the video. This is literally just cheese and onion. I'm trying to make like a onion, like a cheesy onion ring type flavor. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I also realized that I got this cheese which has um, Parmesan, not Parmesan, which has a little bit, this triple cheddar, I'm not sure of how this is gonna to melt up, so we're gonna find out. And then this one, I'm gonna make my typical chaffle, which you will see in the video, the chaffle video down below. It's actually one of my most popular videos, and I show how to make some really good chaffles, so go check it out. I'm gonna make a big batch of my keto crumb, so pork rinds, yeast, and Parmesan cheese, nutritional yeast, flakes, this is what they look like. And it is in the cookbook if you're interested. In my opinion, the cookbook is worth buying just for this because it works in so many things so well. So I'm gonna get going on this and I like to have it on hand all the time and I am out completely. Working on making probably one of my favorite is the fried pickle chaffle. Lately on Instagram people have been doing the fried pickles with just cheese and pickles and that's delicious too but this is by far the best. It's on my Instagram in my highlights. I'll probably pop it up on the screen for y'all too but this is by far the best truffle base period in my opinion for savory truffles then you can add whatever you want flavor wise or you can add the dill pickles like it shows here i think i'm going to do this one just plain so we've got eggs shredded cheese and egg trim healthy mama flour you could use almond flour crushed pork rinds a little tiny bit of baking soda a pinch of salt and then i would do two tablespoons of pickle dill pickle relish if i was doing the dill pickle one but i think we're just going plain y'all we are getting ready this kitchen is a disaster come back and look how cute these are though two and a half hours is gonna be a time to drink episode <laughs> we are like getting after it my sweet hazel is like in her new bed y'all i'm so glad at first she wasn't sure but she seems super comfy now she can sit right beside her mama i'm working and she's laying in her super comfy serta mattress bed <laughs> My dog's not spoiled at all, y'all. Not at all. She's so comfy, she's not even looking at me when I'm talking about her. Y'all, it has been a long day. We've just been busy. I've taken lots of rest breaks, like on purpose to be ready for tonight, but my back is killing me. We're getting ready to go on live, so gonna push through, we're gonna push through. I guess he can get me drinking and maybe that'll help. <laughs> I don't know. So, y'all, here is uh, the background. We're getting ready. We've got Jack who can never leave, or I will never know how to do all of this. I guess he'll have to teach me. We've got Jack's fancy smancy camera. Again, not mine. He'll be taking that with him at some point, I guess. And then we've got all of the stuff set up. Jason has so much stuff for tonight all of his stuff set up when we're doing live we have to like really be set up and ready look at this we're going to be doing chaffles 
in a Bloody Mary. It's gonna be so cute, a chocolate burger. Y'all go watch it. When you see this, it will have been last Friday, so go check it out. And then here's where I stand. And then we have one computer here so I can read what people are saying. And then the camera. And then we've always got Jack taking care of everything back behind. None of this would happen without him. Thank you, Jack. Love you, buddy. I guess not you too. Jason was looking at me. <laughs> hey. All right, y'all. It's the end of the evening. Here's my drink for the rest of the evening. I'm just kidding. Relax. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to do that. I had to do that for my girl Vanessa. All right. We just finished our live and Jason made some really fun drinks, but the main amazing drink of the night was these beer garitas. I don't know about y'all. I don't know if you've had beer garitas in the past, but we used to have like a ritual of friends over watching Survivor and drinking beer garitas. And they are so not low carb. Like we would just have these fun parties, just viewing parties or whatever, and we would have beer garitas. Well, Jason nailed the low, low carb, carb beer garita. It is so good. You need to go watch the live that was Friday night. If you like beer garitas, if you like tequila, like this is this is amazing. It makes enough for a party. This is a whole pitcher. I think he said there's seven or eight drinks in Probably five the way well, we five pour. left or five the way we pour. I don't know. But I'm two about and a half to, calories. two and a half carbs. Two and a half carbs per drink. Yes please. All right, I'll see y'all later and good night. Hey y'all, it is the evening and I just wanted to stop. I've got like all my makeup almost off and I'm looking pretty ratchet, but it is what it is. I finally had time to sit and actually talk to y'all and I wanted to kind of talk about ending the squeaky clean keto challenge. It didn't go so well for me y'all. Let's be honest. The first week I lost four pounds and then I gained two pounds and then it stayed. So, didn't get much accomplished. I should have had a little bit of forethought. Like seriously, I was gonna do January no spend pantry challenge where I'm not buying and I'm eating out of the pantry, fridge and freezer and squeaky clean at the same time. Yeah, it, it just, it didn't really work. I did not eat squeaky clean. I would say I ate squeaky clean more than half of the time, but that is not really completing a full challenge. Y'all saw what I was eating. A lot of times I was having some bars or I was having some processed ingredients and that's what I had. I stuck to keto, but I, you know, I wasn't squeaky clean. I wasn't squeaky clean and I had alcohol um, more than I had planned to. I didn't lose 10 pounds. I really thought I would lose 10 pounds in three weeks. I don't know why I thought that, but I guess because I had just put it on over COVID, I thought it would come off super quick. This is the first time I've ever gained weight since losing my 100 pounds, that it didn't come off immediately. And I really haven't tried that hard. I was not squeaky clean. I didn't follow this like I wanted to. And I know I'm kind of being hard on myself. When I look back, I was squeaky clean a good portion of it, but that wasn't what I had set out to do. It was to be 100%, 100% or as close to 100% squeaky clean as possible. I had said I was only gonna drink alcohol one day a week and I was gonna be squeaky clean the rest of it. And that's not what happened. I had a lot of really bad pain days. I was super caught up in filming and posting a video every single day. My stress level was like way up here. Um, you know, if you don't do YouTube, you don't know all the background stuff, but it's a lot of work and filming and posting every day is a lot of work. There are a lot of YouTubers out here that do that and a lot of YouTubers that are, you know, make a lot of money or a decent amount of money and are able to pay people to help them produce their videos so that they can get them out. But I've been working really hard this month to put out videos and things that fell by the wayside a little bit were how, was like food. I ate quick and easy things sometimes because I was so busy and throwing in so many pain days into the mix made it really, really tough. So, I'm always real with y'all and 
you know, you've been watching me all month. You're very aware that I didn't do an amazing job at this challenge. I hate to have to say that. I want to be perfect. I always strive to be perfect. I am such a perfectionist, not that you can tell, but I also strive more than anything to be completely honest. So you already knew what this ending of this was gonna be. I decided that I'm not gonna be doing this going into February. There's no point in continuing it because I'm not doing a great job at it. So my plans for February are mainly going to be really focused on my yoga, really focus on self care and try to make the best choices possible. I'm gonna try to do a lot of meat and better quality dairies and stick to that mainly kind of like keto ish but not in like a challenge format or anything just like i feel like that's the direction my body's going right now and what i'm craving and i've been craving red meat and i wasn't buying it because we're doing this squeaky clean challenge and then i was eating other stuff because i was really craving the meat right so it's just it's time to stop we're stopping this is the end of the daily vlogs and going into february we're going to be doing our grocery hauls we're going to be doing what's for dinner every saturday will be grocery hauls every sunday will be a what's for dinner video and i will show you three to four meals that we have throughout the week they're going to be really good delicious keto meals that i know you're going to love and that is my plan. On Wednesdays right now, I'm doing a grocery store where I go through a grocery store and show you all the different keto things. So we're gonna be doing that on Wednesdays. And then I may throw some vlogs in, I may not. We shall see. February, like I said, is gonna be focusing on me focusing on yoga because i know it makes me feel good i missed so much yoga this month because i was too busy and that's not that's not cool i've got to reorder some priorities got to figure out how to do it all and i know that i can't do it all i guess is the answer to that so february is going to be a figuring it out month and we'll do it together and we'll see how it goes i would love for y'all to let me know what the main things that you like to watch from me are but um there's the end of squeaky clean keto i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope you got some entertainment at least from it or maybe some ideas i know i wasn't completely off the wall i definitely stuck to keto just wasn't as clean as it could have been all right bye y'all be blessed i'll see you soon